Hello friend, today we have to learn the concept of ooze in wavy dot net. Now here we discuss with ooze that is object oriented program. In object oriented programming basically we have to learn the concept what is object oriented programming basically. If we discuss with the concept of ooze or object oriented programming all those languages, those supports, the concept of OOP for OOPs, they are considered as object oriented programming languages. These languages basically supports the following basic concepts related to class and object, abstraction and encapsulation, inheritance and polymorphism. We will learn one by one then that what basically these are. If we discuss the first concept of OOPs based programming, that is the concept of class. Class is a group of methods and variables where methods are known as member function and variables are known as data members. In wavy.net, class is created by class keyword and completed with end class keyword. Now here the syntax, public, private, class and class name and number of variables and methods will be there that we have to use and then it completes with the AND class. Now we will see one example of this. Now here we are, we are creating a class, their name is XYZ. Here we have created the variables A and B and one function sum. Here this type of class concept will be there that we have to use. Now we have to discuss with the another concept of OOPs that is object. What is an object? Object is an runtime entity. It is a member of class which is able to access methods and variable of class which has been declared as public in public mode. In vv.net an object can be created as the given example class that syntax is class name first then name of object as new and class name here new is a, new is a keyword that is being used for creating an object here xyz class we have used then p is a name of object as new xyz it means here we have created the object p now we discuss with the another concept of the oops that is abstraction what is an abstraction Abstraction refers to the act of representing essential features without including the background details or explanation of those terms. Abstraction defines way to abstract or hide your data and members from outside world. Class use the concept of abstraction and are defined as a list of abstract attributes. When we define class, then different Accessibility mode defines the access level of variable and math, such as private, public, and protect. Basically, these are being used for the different different purposes. Those are to be allowed to access outside the world, then that will be declared in public, otherwise, private and protected. Now we have to discuss with the another concept of encapsulation. What is an encapsulation? Encapsulation is a process to bind data and methods in a unit called class. When we define a class, that process itself defines the concept of encapsulation. Encapsulation is a procedure of covering up of the data and functions into a single unit called a class. An encapsulated object is often called an abstract data type. Encapsulation can protect our data from accidental corruption. Rather than defining the data in a form of public, we can declare those fields as private. Now we discuss with the other concept of the OOPS concept that is inheritance. Inheritance is the process of creating new class called a derived class from the existing class called the base class. It is also known as code reusability. Inheritance can be done by keyword inherits. Syntax is we have to declare the class, the name. Again, it will start with the keyword class, whatever name of the class that we have to give. And inherits word will use 
and name of base class then other statements or the terms related to the class and at the last it will close with the and class same concept is there that we have to use now we will discuss with one example here see the example of inheritance base class is xyz as we have declared it then pub that derived class is abc here we have used the inherits xyz it means we are accessing all those variables in method those has been declared in public mode in this and we are using this some function can be used by this so here you can see object of derived class is used to access method of base and derived class both but those are only declared as public if you have declared something in base class as private that cannot be directly accessed by the derived class that is the concept of the inheritance another concept of oops is polymorphism basically polymorphism is one of the crucial feature of web.net it means ability to take on different forms basically the meaning of polymorphism is more than one so it is also called the overloading which means the use of same things for different purposes using polymorphism we can create as many function we want with one function name but with different or meant less the function perform different operational operations based on the argument list in the function call the exact function to be invoked will be determined by checking the type and number of arguments in the function this is all about the concept of oops when the language will follow all those concept that is considered as object oriented programming language if you like this video then also subscribe it and like it if you are having some suggestion please send the comments over there it was there thank you have a nice day